Hello everybody, this is Bodrich and this is, uh, I don't know, it's, a, it's an emergency uh, episode. Uh, it's dedicated to Reddit user Stacktrace exception here. I don't have a Reddit account, but right now this is the first time in a couple of years since I really kind of wanted a Reddit account. I, I, I kind of really want to make a reply in this thread, but I will not <laughs> get a Reddit account. But uh, check this out, See, it's on i3wm and I, I, I pay attention to i3wm subreddit here. I subscribe to the subreddit in my RSS reader so I can see if there are any interesting posts. And sometimes there is, sometimes most of the time there isn't. And uh, I, I, I look into all kinds of topics here and I read the comments. Uh, but this one, it made me kind of sad, or really sad actually, because here's a new user, uh, obviously. he. Um, he asks how to disable automatic tiling in i3. I think that's a very good question. You know me. Uh, le let me explain how my setup uh, looks uh, or works here. I have uh, in i3, I have a window rule. Uh, you can set that like four window rules. Uh, let's open the official documentation here. Org. Uh, let's do that and then we can also open. Config here, see if we can find that stuff quickly. Uh, ah, that's right, I don't have it set here. Because, yeah, 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 we get back to it. This video is dedicated <laughs> to that Reddit user, and my, my hope here is that one of my excellent viewers here that uh, have a, still have a Reddit account, um, maybe someone could send a personal message or a reply to that thread, but probably better just send a personal message to that that guy I, I, just, I, I feel we can say we can save him you know <laughs> so the easy answer here to how to disable tiling because I have automatic tiling even if it looks like I'm tiling everything everything is tiled it's perfect it's great no nothing is tiled uh, I set window rules for all my windows that I want to tile ex exactly how he describes as he wanted here. He, he's like, it's crazy. Why, why are windows automatically tiled? It just shrinks the windows into uh, unpredictable uh, sizes and stuff. It's, it's terrible. And he also say that it don't like uh, workspaces because that's the replies he gets. Like, it, 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 read this thread. It's, it's, it's kind of a... And also Airblader, you know, one of the main maintainers is one of the guys who is kind of harshest uh, on Limir. Um, here, here is Airblader. As I said, my recommendation is not to use i3. It is uh, not what you want, and it won't become what you want. You know, i3 is a great window manager. I, I, think, it's, I think it's the best window manager by far. And it is not a tiling window manager. It's a dynamic window manager. It has full support for floating windows, it has full support for tabbed windows, as you can see I have here, I have different tabs here, with different applications, both the terminal and GUI applications. This means that uh, many people, they use uh, Tmux for, for this functionality, but that only works for uh, um, terminal applications. Here I can mix uh, terminal and, and GUI applications, we can do this, and I can have floating windows, and the floating windows, you can drag them just by clicking this, no special thing at all. Resizing and everything works perfectly, you know. i3 is a very good, uh, potent uh, window manager, and you can do things like this. Now this will get a bit messy here, let's see what windows I have open here. So if we close this terminal here. Because this is my Sublime window, here's uh, Vivaldi. I can change the layout of just this container, so I can make this stacked instead. And now it's uh, like a, a container within a container. And I, can, I, I have it set up so I can switch here between uh, stacked and uh, tabbed layout. But I could also or uh, split and tab, but I only, only use horizontally split. I could do this for any of these. Uh, uh, yeah, here we have htop and a normal terminal here in two different tabs. So this setup, you could think of it like four different workspaces at the screen at the same time. And yeah, we get to this, but I can also do this if I want to. I don't want to see that side sidebars. Now I only have the, these two uh, containers. And then I can show 
that sidebar again by doing this. You see, it's it's uh, very hacky. It's, it's a lot of stuff happening, but all the tabs and stuff are restored here, and I can do things like this, and this. You see, uh, it's totally possible, and this is just one single workspace. I never use more than one workspace, ex except for maybe like now I have o OBS open here because I don't want to accidentally show that in in my screencast or anything. So it's uh, I use the workspace, the extra workspaces, just for like uh, dumpsters for <laughs> annoying windows. You know, sometimes maybe you play a game, and it's gonna be nice to do that on workspace two, and then you have your normal work on workspace one, whatever. So this is completely possible, and you can do it by uh, using window rules. Uh, it's the simple uh, answer here, but it is it, it will not work. Uh, perfect. We get back to it. Let's see. Search for four underscore window there. And here, this part here, 4.13 in the i3 uh, official user guide here, uh, describes how you can set up rules. So then you, you, you do this in your i3 config, you write four underscore window. And then a window criteria. For example, here they have uh, set a criteria that uh, will match all windows that have the window class X term. And you can find out this window class with that. There are a couple of different programs. Uh, I have written my own script that's called i3get. So if I do i3get here, I will uh, get the, the window container ID of the currently active window, meaning this. But I could also do i3get class. And that will print, or no. It was so, so long since I used this uh, program like this, so uh, I think it's print C. Okay, yeah, print C, then it will print the class of the currently active window. And I can also do I, and then it will also print the instance name. And I could even do T, and there are more commands. Uh, this is the title of this window. Um, but I can also specify criteria here and not print from the active window. I could uh, specify, I know, for example, or I don't know, whatever. I, but I can specify a different window and print information about that. And you can get uh, uh, like complicated information like the container ID and the window ID and stuff, but we don't have to go into that. Because what I want to show you here is, here they have set up a window rule called for window class equals X term, and then uh, an i3 command here, floating enable. And that means that this window, X term, it will always be floating when it, uh, uh, as soon as it launched, it will not be tiled at all. Uh, but you can actually set up a, a rule that matches all windows. And that rule uh, would be written something like this. For window, uh, and you can use class here, is equal to, and then I think you write, write it like, like this, dollar uh, or dot star. I think this is how you do it. Um, because this is a regular expression that will match any uh, string. So this will match all windows. And then you set floating enabled. And now all your new windows will be floating. Uh, I will put a, a sharp here at the beginning of the line to comment out this uh, uh, in, in my shell so not, nothing happens when I print it. But in your i3 config you write just this. And then below that rule uh, it's important that this rule is the first rule, because this will be the global rule that applies to all windows. But if you further down in your config file have, have a rule again, and here yeah, we could take that uh, class equals x term, as they have uh, in the example there. Then you can set floating and uh, uh, disable for that, and that means that this Extern window that will be uh, tiled and all other windows will be floating. This is exactly I think what you kind of asked for in, in your thread there And it's so weird that no one uh, even mentioned that at all, you know But this is how you can do it and, and it's no weird fringe stuff And this is completely supported in i3 in one way, but in one way it really isn't because i3 Have the weirdest way of parsing these window rules uh, It works like this. I have made a vi video video about it. I will try to find that video and uh, link 
link it in the show notes how you can set that up because you need to set it up with a python script and in, in, instead of setting this global rule because this is not a good idea actually because every time you re reload your i3 config then it kind of uh, um, uh, will reparse each these window rules. It will not do it when you reload the, the config, but it will it, it will uh, parse the rules when uh, a window uh, changes its attributes, uh, a meaning if they change their class, if they sh which never happens, if they sh change their instance name, which never happens, or if they change their title, which happens all the time. I have a custom title format, so I, uh, but the actual window title here for my Vivaldi window here, for example, that's the that's like the title of this web page. Um, let's do this. Let's not talk about what this is really, but this is the window title of, of Vivaldi here. I can see it here, and as you can see, uh, when I change uh, tabs here, it changes the window title, of course. That's uh, and that's very normal behavior behavior for almost uh, any window, you know, uh, but. That means that when the title changes, it will trigger uh, the, the four window classes uh, or rules that you have set up. And that's super strange and that can cause windows to, to, be, to, to be floating again or, and all kinds of unpredictable things can happen when, when, uh, um, because of this. And it doesn't look like they will change the, the way this works at all. It's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's kind of a shame that, that, that it works like that. But one workaround to make it much more stable in quotation marks is to instead use uh, a Python script or a subscription script of some kind and uh, an IPC script that listens for uh, the creations of new windows. It, it is actually not uh, difficult at all to set that up. And I have a video describing that in, in, in details, how you set this uh, global rule uh, outside of the i3 config. And that means that the global rule will only trigger when new windows are created, not when their attributes changes. But this is a simple way to get what you want. And this will probably work for you uh, quite, uh, quite well. But after a while you will see that there this this weird issue that I'm talking about here. And it's kind of hard to describe it without like uh, 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 showing it. And I don't want to disable my Python script or whatever it is. I don't really... whatever. I will link that video in the show notes. But then also, you see, I, I have tiled uh, uh, tabs and, and tiles and I can hide and show my, my uh, containers like this. Uh, this layout, that is not a default i3 layout uh, in any way. It's, uh, I've written it, I got it on, on GitHub here. So github.com slash budlabs slash i3 as. You can look here, I have all kinds of useful scripts here that I have created for uh, to ease the use of i3wm. And it's uh, been around for, for about three years now, this uh, collection here. Uh, it was a while since I updated it because it kind of works fine. Um, got about 300, 287 stars here. Uh, and I have also some documentation here, mostly about uh, installation. It's very easy if you use Arch Linux and you can install it from AUR, but really this is just a series of uh, shell scripts. All of these are uh, bash scripts really. So all you need to do is uh, somehow get these scripts in your path. Uh, but the, the easiest way is just to use this make file and that will automatically place them in your path. And it will also install the man pages because it comes with a man page for each and every of these special commands. Um, and you can see in the wiki uh, much more information about them. And this layout, this four container based layout here, it's described here. And I will not go into any details here, but uh, you can find information about it here. And that th this is kind of an advanced thing, but I, I have a feeling that this is something that you might be interested in. Because it is kind of um, focused around this uh, single workspace workflow. It, it's not that, that you're not allowed to use more workspaces, but yeah, when, when you get used to this, you don't want any more workspaces anyways. And you don't, because when you have this, the, the, the biggest uh, uh, benefit here now is that instead of setting floating disable, because this will just make a window tile, but you still don't know where it will tile itself or, or 
it will tile itself next to the currently active window and that is maybe not what you want. With, with my uh, i3 FIDA uh, uh, script here I can set up window rules instead to say okay uh, and, and I set it up like this I, I, I add window rules to my i3 config uh, which is kind of weird now my config it, it doesn't look uh, like uh, the default config but that's just because I'm using variables here all over the place in my i3 config but these are actually four window four window instance uh, this means here and the instance name is Tore. then i set the title format here uh, with, with another command whatever let's uh, qubit torrent to, to force the title to, to always show qubit torrent instead of the normal window title you see i set window uh, title format rules here for everything uh, well, all, all my known windows, and then I also have this two container, and that that's uh, i3 FIDA move to the A container, and this is the A container, this is the B container, this is the C container, and this is the D container, and that means I can uh, specify where I want the windows to be tiled. But if they don't match any rules, then they will be floating by default. So unknown windows that I don't know the size of, you know. You know when you install a new program, you don't know if you want it like uh, tiled like this. Or maybe some, and some windows just uh, works best as floating. I completely understand what you're, what you're saying here in, in your Reddit thread. Uh, stack trace exception. And the thing is... I, I stopped using Reddit. I, I deleted my account and it was... Uh, it wasn't like your question or anything here, it was actually, I, I, I made a small release uh, of one of the scripts here in i 3 or something like that. And I got this weird response and stuff and it just, just made me sad, you know, and angry. And I felt, and I often felt angry and sad uh, on <laughs> when using Reddit and, and kind of lost faith in, in humanity more and more, you know. <laughs> um, you know, the, these people, they are idiots. Don't listen to them. Uh, and But you can still use i3. It is still the best I, uh, window manager. But it has the worst community. And this subreddit is uh, cancer. Uh, and Reddit is cancer itself. You know, it spreads. Uh, you, yeah, you know how that works. So my recommendation, keep on using i3. Yeah, because there is no better window manager. Uh, but uh, d don't don't bother with this uh, at all. It's also a very this uh, um, documentation here is very very good. It 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 actually have everything you need uh, for uh, as a user how to set up i3. The source code, however, is kind of it, it's a very it's starting to become a very big or starting to become it it have been kind of a big uh, uh, program in a long while and it it, it is. I find it a bit difficult to, to kind of hack and patch the actual source code and that's uh, why also one of the reasons why I made my uh, stuff here as external bash script so this doesn't need any modification to i3 itself or anything like that. One thing that's worth mentioning here uh, before uh, anything else is that this just this particular script i3 feed on uh, that makes this layout uh, it is um, it doesn't work with i3 gaps and I, I don't use i3 gaps I think it's a, a silly uh, fork but um, this and, and that's something uh, you, you kind of m maybe need to know because I, I know a lot of people they try this out and then it, it gets really weird on, on i3 gaps because it is more different different than, than uh, uh, people think and say than uh, the vanilla i3 and i3, the source code and the, the software project, so to speak, it, it's very well maintained. They have a really good testing uh, environment that's lacking from almost all other of these minimal, in quotation mark window managers. Uh, that makes it very stable and works in, in with all kinds of, of different weird windows and workflows and stuff. It's, it, it's a very good window manager, but the community, so to speak, is... Don't bother. Uh, and here we can also see i3 get the, the program I, I showed you here to get the class name. There are other programs that does this. I can show you class names and stuff that are more window manager agnostic. But this one only works with i3. 
but uh, it can print a lot of uh, information that's only uh, 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 specific to i3. For example, this container ID, it can print name of marks, it can print the title format of a current of a window, and uh, some things like that. And there are more uh, interesting scripts here. Maybe this, this is my favorite one and, and the one I try to, to show everyone that this is something that you can use uh, completely without this i3 feed or anything. And ev everyone can benefit from this. Uh, it, it's like, it. if you want to ma simplify it a lot, it, it makes it so that you can uh, uh, minimize windows in i3 in a sane way. You can bind a single key binding uh, to launch hide and show a window and it is also aware of this i3 feed if it is active if it isn't active it will just work as expected but if i3 feed is active then it also uh, toggles the containers if you want to it's it, th th this is a really cool script that i can recommend that you check out so yeah and for all, <laughs> I'm talking here directly to Stacktrace exception, uh, but this is kind of a win, uh, video to to showcase um, my workflow, what it is really, and my my stance here on on the i3 stuff. And I don't know. Uh, in one way, also, I say here i3 is a really good uh, window manager, blah blah blah. But uh, this really makes me think, you know, that uh, it it would be nice to to. Yeah, uh, uh, threads like this makes me consider to, to actually switch uh, or do something else, you know. And I, 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 I may or may not have some, some ideas, uh, but uh, we take that in a different video. I'm making a break here. As you can see, this is my home record. I have a bunch of uh, recordings here. SSR 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm making a series. I will release the whole series in one bang. You will see it will be great and uh, hopefully I, I can do that like tomorrow or uh, in two days or something. It's not much uh, left to do and it's about simple screen recorder and how to set that up and, and uh, get a really comfy uh, screen recording uh, thing. But that's coming up in later videos, whatever. I hope that someone can, can tell here stack trace or exception because I have a feeling, the, the, and this is the kind of reception that he gets here. That is what gets people to just, he will probably stop using i3, I'm, I'm pretty sure. If he doesn't watch this video, and, and but I'm also afraid that he will kind of go back to Windows or, or something like that, you know. Or even worse, you don't know. I, I, I think, I, I don't think, um, because he wasn't like... Um, it was an honest question and, and a good question in my opinion. And this is the type of questions that you should answer in a simple way by just maybe just pasting an example of these two window rules that I pasted in the terminal here. Don't say too much else and, and let people experiment a bit. Don't uh, this back and forth. It has nothing to do with this question here as long as uh, as what I can see here. No, it's, it's like th this would be the obvious answer. And these guys, you know, have been here for for five six years. They have been using i3 for as long as I can remember, and even and, and longer than that. Most of them, and some some of them are even the main maintainer. This is like the the main guy of uh, maintaining i3. Even if it is Mikkel Stoppelberg is uh, it's the head developer in a way. But this, whatever, it, it, I don't know. It's it, it's it's not a, a, a pretty sight. This thread. Okay, whatever. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.